Hi. So I'm Fred. I'm the author of QuitBench.com. It's a website where you can run uh, micro benchmarks uh, online. The website looks like this. You have this. Oh, sorry. This editor on the left side of the of the page, where you can write some Google benchmark benchmarks, and on the right you have blue buttons. If you press one of the blue buttons, you will run the benchmarks and have bars representing the time it took to run each benchmark. The bigger bars mean uh, that the benchmark was slower. Google benchmark looks like that. So you have a function, uh, it takes a state, and you have this while loop inside, which will run as many times as it has to in order to have a stable value for the time it takes to run inside. Everything outside will be run once, so that's where you want to put your initializations. And we are going to try a little uh, experiment with a few algorithms from the STL. First, I made a function which generates one million random numbers using uh, Mersenne Twister. I copy-pasted it from Stack Overflow. Um, first, the sort, the sort benchmark will look like that. I get my random vector, and inside the while loop, I'm going to copy it and sort it. I'm copying it each time because I don't want to run multiple times on an already sorted vector. And as I'm copying and sorting, while I want only to benchmark the sort part, I'm going to make a reference with just a sort, with just a copy, sorry, and see if it makes any difference. And yeah, it does. So we can completely ignore the copy part of the benchmark. Great. Uh, we're going to start with sort and stable sort. Um, I don't know about you, I expect stable sort to be a little bit slower, slower than sort. It is great. And it's not that much slower, in fact. So if you're hesitating, you can probably use stable sort when you need. Another interesting algorithm is nth element. Uh, for example, if you're looking for the median of a vector, it, you give it a position inside the vector. It will um, partition the, ve the vector around this position and put in the position the right element as if it were sorted. And it's way faster than a sort if you're looking for a median. So great, it's a great, good algorithm. Another interesting algorithm is partial sort. Uh, it does quite the same thing as nth element, except it sorts everything before the nth element instead of just partitioning it. Uh, I expect it to be slower than nth element and probably faster than sort. And it's totally not. It's way slower than a complete sort. So probably we can do better ourselves by calling sort on the result of nth element. Yes. So calling sort on the result is way faster than doing the full sort. Uh, it doesn't mean that partition sort, uh, partial sort is useless. It means that you should it, use it only uh, if you're looking, for example, to the three best results of your vector or something like that. If you have to divide the size by something, uh, probably use this last algorithm instead. So I encourage you to test with Bench yourself, and you can also follow me on uh, Twitter at Fratangodev.